Alright guys, what's up y'all? It's Sheila again. Did y'all hear that? It's another day. I started the video a few days ago. And even before that, maybe a few more days before that. Just have had a lot going on. Um, to, to be honest with you, uh, my brother passed. I share that with you guys. And um, so... You know, I mean, I felt like I got socked in the gut. So, but anyway, um, moving on, moving on, um, you know, the healing process and the grieving process, you know, still going through, but I, I got to keep moving forward. I got to keep pushing forward. And so anyway, this morning, well, yesterday, um, Mr. Yesterday was Easter whoops there goes that line again was Easter um, Sunday I don't really like calling it Easter a lot of people do um, I call it resurrection day <clears throat> and that's another story and I'll share with that another time but um, my son came over and we had um, mister fixed out some grilled chicken on the grill and then we had some of my green beans that I had canned a few years back they were absolutely delicious by the way and then we had some mashed potatoes. I can't remember all. And then dessert, we had key lime pie. But, um, guys, uh, I, um, well, let me get back to my brother's thing uh, a little bit. Anyway, we had to go down to the to the big city uh, where we're from, you know, and, and meet with the family and, and whatnot. But what I'm saying is that you know, we had to go to the funeral, and um, I didn't have nothing to wear to the freaking funeral. I mean, seriously, I've gained so much weight, and that's what this is about, and that's what's over there dinging. That's what all this is about. So, I told Mr. I said, I just got to get rid of all them clothes. I mean, I didn't have one pair of slacks that I could wear. Well, I didn't have any slacks on there to begin with because I got rid of them all. And then all I had was blue jeans. Oh. So, but I wore a pair of nice blue jeans and stuff, and, and it wasn't about my clothes, right? Exactly. But it was an eye-opener for me because I need to lose some weight. So, we went to Goodwill, uh, basically, because I wanted to look for uh, some things to that I could paint, that I could uh, you know, flip, and things like that. And so I thought, well, let me go over here. I went over to the slack section, and it just wasn't anything. And I, but I did see some capris that were supposed to be my size, what I think that I wear. And I went to the dressing room. Girlfriend, I couldn't get them over my thighs. I went, uh-oh. Looks like I've gone up another size. And I refused to buy anything. It's like, you're going to lose some weight. You hear me? You're going to lose some weight. So, and then I tried on a jacket. Well, I couldn't get it. I had about that much space to get it buttoned. And so there's like hardly anything. So that's why I wear these stretchy things or pajamas most of the time. And I said, what's cheaper? Losing weight? Buying clothes? You know, just get it all. Just buy me some new clothes? No. Cheaper is lose weight. So this morning, well, I made a commitment. I said, it's been hard. It's just been hard hard if you're losing weight. I said I was going to start Monday, which today is Monday, but actually I started yesterday or the night before. Probably, I'm coming, probably like Friday night, and because Mr., because we like, I love pasta, but he he's that kind of uh, meat and potatoes, bread kind of person, so he likes to get in here in the kitchen and fix up and eat, and it's always that, and I go, where's the veggies? potatoes. I need some green beans, which we had yesterday. I need just beans, different kinds of beans. I need carrots and celery and those kind of things. So I said, so he was sitting there eating some bread or something that he put some butter and garlic or something on, brought over there because sometimes we watch TV, we kind of do snackies. I said, I don't want that piece of bread so bad. I said, don't you do it. Don't you do it. And I didn't. I had the willpower. So, anyhow, uh, yesterday I got up and I ate oatmeal. And then 
it's probably getting close to lunchtime, but I haven't had any breakfast or anything, and I'm hungry, so, and I want to do some other stuff inside, and I'll tell you why of that, but, so I went over here, let's go see what it looks like, I just put it in the microwave, I don't do that pot stuff, my mama did, you put milk in it, sugar, I wasn't going to do that, I'm just going to nuke it over here in the, in the microwave, there goes mister, morning, morning, so let's look at it so anyway here's our and this is part yeah this leads me to another story this leads me here because this was left here when we got here because we always had over the uh the oven microwave thing so like oh we're cleaning the burners don't pay no mind of that but to put it up here so we want to get a new microwave so we've been dealing with this little jewel not anyway i put my oatmeal in here oh look are you kidding me is it trying to tell me that i put too much in there which i didn't would you look at that mess that's a hot mess look at that look all my oatmeal's on the freaking plate that's all i got in there look well well, don't clean it up. We can have it tomorrow. No, baby. I ain't going to eat that tomorrow. It'd be stuck. It'd be like paste. Oh. Well, you know what? I'm going to make do with this. And I'll clean that other stuff in a minute. So let's go over here. Oh, I got it right here. I'm just going to put me some butter. Yeah, well, she little butter's fattening. Well, I'd rather put butter than sugar. I don't really like sugar in my oatmeal. This is awful. I, I can't even hold this. I'm going to have to clean that off. Look, oh Lord, you can't, it ain't nothing hardly to, oh my goodness. Well, I guess even the microwave's trying to tell me, girl, you need to go on a diet. Look at this. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in it. Yep, that's me. I'm one of those, oh, there we go, salt and butter kind of girls. All right, let me clean the side of this off. I eat my little bit of oatmeal. Then I want to tell you about, you know, we've been working outside, but today, let me tell you that real quick. Today, we got up and it was raining. And I was going, okay, we got to finish planting those bushes and things like that. We haven't done yet. And I'm probably going to plant those in the back. But, um, it was raining. It started last night sometime. It's supposed to rain all day long and so then i looked out and then i, got, I hear like tick, 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 you know it wasn't the bird pecking on the windows like they, they've been doing but do i look blurry to you guys something's the matter with my camera or is it my glasses well anyway uh what was i say oh the ticky ticky it was like a little fine hail and then Immediately after that, Mr. Yells up, he goes, it's snowing. I went, what? It was like, and it's been in the 70s the last few days. And then it was snowing. Snowing, hailing, raining, and it's still raining outside. Mr. says he's going to go down to the shop. He's going to some places here. We've got to touch up some paint. I started my uh, window that I showed you, the, um, the daisy window. I royally messed it up because... I wanted to put like that mirror stuff on the back side of it. <sighs> I'll show that to you in a minute. Right now, let me clean my bowl up before it sticks to the counter and um, eat that because I'm a little bit hungry. But I'll re be right back because I want to show you that, that daisy picture that I thought was, you know, it was coming along, but I'll show it to you. You know, you're going to make your boo-boos and, and it's trial and error. And it's not a tutorial, um, but I thought it was going to come out better than it did. It's awful. But anyway, I'll show that to you in a minute. Let me eat my oatmeal. Go get you some oatmeal. Get you a cup of coffee or some tea. Well, y'all probably want lunch. I should have probably just ate a salad. You know it. Well, anyway, let me eat this, and I'll be back just shortly. Okay. Just took my three tablespoons of oatmeal because everything else boiled out, as you know. I'm still hungry. Anyway, let me walk up here. I want to show you this. Uh, I got to sit down the floor. 
gosh, that's another thing. It's like when I can get down. Because sometimes I just go, plop, just plop down. Because getting up, whoo wee. Let me see if I can get down here. Okay, guys, okay. This grunt, this stuff going on there. Okay, I'm just not a spring chick anymore. Anyway, all right, this is it. Um, You can see I put the mirror stuff in the back. What do y'all think? I took off the bumblebee and I've got some little, I gotta spray it with some uh, stuff. I can't think what the name of it is. Cause where I scraped off the bumblebee, I kind of scraped off some, some coating. But this is it. Like I said, put another, you know, see it? another little butterfly there. Um, I, I don't know. I'm going to see if it passes. And then, of course, I've got, you know, this one. I've got several i got to do. I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to spray the back. I probably will not spray the back with uh, that sealant stuff. Uh, no, I mean the front. I'll probably spray, no, I will spray some on the front. But I will spray it on the back as well. Um, I don't know why. Just, just what I'm going to do. But anyway, okay. So. The other thing that I started working on yesterday um, was some, I think they're called pocket posies. It's like 10 cans. You cut out both sides, you know, clean out really good, and then you mash it on one end. Oh, let me show you what I started. I told you I gotta get up now. Anybody will give a hand and get me up. Look, oh, now it's, a, now it's it always does that. But I can't get up. I got help. Okay, so let me go over here and show you. See, you can see my table is kind of. This is the table that you know I'm getting rid of. It's 60 inches circumference, so it's a pretty big table as you can see. So I started this yesterday. Mister helped me. Took. I tried to mash the uh, the cans. Um, so you can see here and then mash the cans. We took it out to the vise, um, I don't know what you call it, clamp thing, and squished it in there. I painted it a blue, which is, you see the, the blue there, because I think what I'm going to do, I was thinking about putting transfers on it, but then I changed my mind. So I put the blue, dark blue color up under it. So if I distress it some, I'm gonna put another coat of white. Then when I distress it some, the blue will show out because the uh, flowers that I have to decoupage are blue and stuff. He's already put the holes in it for me yesterday. I'm probably gonna run some jute string through that. Uh, I've sanded around here. Um, you know, to keep, if anybody's picking up stuff, I don't want them to get cut. So anyway, that's what I've started on. So let me go ahead and put that second coat of white paint on, uh, get my napkin that I'm going to uh, decoupage on here, and uh, then we'll finish up this video. Uh, I'm going to add the other videos in that I started a couple of days ago. Oh, but before I start this, a lot of you have been asking me, Sheila, uh, show me that you didn't show me the new table that you got. Okay, well, let, let me show you. So, you remember that we had this big old round one. Like I said, it's been in my family. I used to sit at it when I was five years old, eat buckwheat pancakes that my grandmother made me. But this over here, this pan on over here, this is the table that I got. And um, it's just a rectangle table. And I just think that, I wonder why he's moving these plates. Must have been in here. I'm telling you, if you don't quit moving stuff. Also, I've got some little uh, pears. I think they're pears. But um, this is it. I usually have a, uh, another centerpiece there. But we had uh, the Easter Sunday dinner. And I just haven't moved it back. But this is it guys this is the table I was telling you you guys wanted to see it so I want to share it before I would forget you know me squirrel squirrel oh here they are in the panel this is what I'm talking about that is a pear isn't it, it looks like a pear anyway so I'm gonna set that 
I'd like to set those in the middle. Would you ask if anybody recognizes that bloom that's off the tree? Excuse me, honey? Would you mind asking your followers out there if they recognize that bloom? Oh. It's off the tree? Yeah, he went down on Bear Lane. Some of you remember what Bear Lane is. But the, he, he saw this tree, I mean, and he brought it in yesterday that has this bloom on it. Do y'all know what kind of bloom that is? It's pretty, isn't it? So I put it in the water and made that little centerpiece. Anyway, so let me let me get these other two. Um, I'm walking around, guys. I'm sorry. I can only carry one at a time because I got to carry the camera with the other hand. One left. And um, anyway, so here's the here's the last one. <coughs> But anyhow, I like this table a lot better. Like I said, it's, it's bittersweet, you know, with uh, my, the old table here. But until I can get it sold or donate it to somebody, I'm going to, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I guess it's so big that a lot of people don't want that big of a table. So right now, since I'm inside and can't do anything outside because of the rain and, and whatnot, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, work on some crafts and these little pocket posies things first time I'm ever doing them I kind of watched it on uh, YouTube some other ladies did it and they oh man they're so creative um, if I was that creative I might have like a just a YouTube channel with showing y'all how to do anything mine is like what you see is what you get kind of thing but anyway uh, let me go ahead and what was I gonna do guys I ate my oatmeal, cleaned up that mess. Um, oh, I'm going to get the tripod so I can put y'all in the grandstand so I can have both of my hands to do this. And let's see what we come up with. Be right back. Okay, guys. I went out to the, um, to the craft shed, which is a mess. But I'm going to give a whirl at um, doing these uh, pocket posies. Like I said, I've never done them before. So I painted it blue underneath and I painted it white. And then I was going, you know, maybe um, get the sandpaper and kind of sand it, bring out the blue. But I like, nah. So what I'm going to do is I've got some napkins and I had bought these napkins. These are two ply. So what you want to do is pick out your uh, design. And I picked it out. And I'm going to go with uh, the blue uh, flower here uh, on this one. On the other one, I want to show you guys. Oh, I get it. Uh, look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Uh, I'm going to use this one on the other one. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started on this. Like I said, this is not a tutorial. This is just Sheila um, trying her first hand at... You know, don't be afraid to do so. If it, if, it, if it messes up, I mean, I'm sure you can get more cans out of the cabinet and just chunk this away. But anyway, so I went out to the, uh, to the shed, and what I'm going to do, well, first off, is that I'm going to take this, like I said, it's two-ply. I think it's two-ply. Let me make sure. It might be three. Uh-oh. Well, there's one. Sometimes you can just dampen your finger in. You don't want to do it too much because I'm going to tell I think this is just one. I don't see. Do I see? No, it is three ply. I'm blowing in here because you know how you do like you know at the store when your bags won't open, but now it's going to make me a lie. Come on. I guess I just ain't got enough. Oh, yay! Okay, so I've taken off both of those, and this is what I'm going to be using. It's just that one ply. I took off, if it's four ply or two ply, you take them all off except for the top. And it's very, very, very thin. And then what I'm going to do, let me see you guys, can y'all see? Make sure y'all are down here. Uh, hold up, there we go. Um. So I want to make sure you guys can see. So I'm going to use this. And a lot of times what they do is sometimes they put water on the edges. 
and it kind of comes comes up makes it a jaggedy jaggedy look uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of barely t tear it so it'll kind of blend in when um see how I'm doing I'm just doing this just barely pulling this off makes it really jagged uh -oh, I don't want to cut into the flower but and you know you don't have to I just I do because I think it blends in oop, a whole lot better and I'm sure you could pull up you know the YouTube things and um, and it'll show you different techniques that you can do and so I'm just gonna I'm not so worried about this end as I am I didn't want to rip that flower apart so let me get this side Oops, kind of going in too much here. I wish I could put on some music so you, you guys could also hear some music, but, you know, you got to have a license and stuff for that, so I could hum. All right, so I keep putting it up here. The bottom edge, I don't mind it being square. So this is, the, this is the, what I'm going to do. So right now... I've got my brush and I got my hodgepodge here. So what I'm gonna do is put the, if I can get it open now. Oh Lordy, it's always something. Ah, there, I got it. Whew, all I had, I didn't have no Wheaties. I had my oatmeal this morning. Okay, it's been out in the cold, so I wasn't sure if my hodgepodge was gonna be good, but I guess it is. So I'm just putting my brush in here. I'm going to put this the back because I've got the seam, so I'll leave the seam. I don't know if you can see that. I've got the seam. Heck no. It doesn't want to focus, but anyway, it's supposed to be a good camera. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put my hodgepodge here. And you don't have to worry. Uh, it will... Of course, it's on the white, but if you, even if it was on another color and you got you saw all this hodgepodge, and you're going, ooh, uh, it's going to show through. No, it won't. It uh, it dries to a very clear coating. Okay, so I've got that. So next, I'm going to take my my flower, and I'm going to kind of carefully. Place it on here where I want it to go. You gotta kind of be careful because, like I said, this is we're talking about paper thin. This is paper thin, so I'm gonna kind of lightly with my fingers spread it out. I gotta get in all them little crevices and stuff. A lot of people take like a plastic or something. Since the, my napkins came out of this, I could probably use this with my hand. So wait, my hand. It, 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 see, it goes over really smoothly and it doesn't tear. So and it gets the air bubbles out, and we definitely want to get the air bubbles out. You know, but it, don't stress too much. Here I am telling you, this is my first time doing it. Like I'm some kind of expert. Well, I don't know about that, but sometimes I like my fingers. I can feel it better. I rub my fingers over it. Now, hopefully, when it dries, it won't. Now, once I do that, I don't think I. Oops! I don't think I got enough down here. I don't. So I'm just gonna run that under there. And stick it down now what I'm going to do at this point is that now I'm going to take the hodgepodge since I've got this down where I want it I'm going to um, take more hodgepodge and put over it and it's kind of seal it to the can so to speak so and like I said you can see this but don't worry pay no mind be very light-handed though because you still don't want to tear it like I said I am no expert 
But I thought, well, hey, let's just do this together. And, you know, show, I'm not any professional. But I do like crafts. I do. And, um, you know, see what we can come up with, how creative we can be. You might have some great ideas. I mean, if, if you guys have been doing this and you've got an easier way or, um, I don't know. I think it's to each his own that we have, um. God has given us, you know, different talents, and, and, and this is just Sheila right now. This is what Sheila is doing. Like I said, you can see all the white on it, but don't worry about that. So you got to be careful right there because that's kind of loose. I, I see that. Must be an air bubble in there. If so, what we can do is just take like a little pin, which I don't have. Maybe I can take the end of my, uh. Of my little window scraper. Do that like ink. Might make a little hole enough that the air can come out. Which it looks like it has, I think. Ooh, I'm afraid if I'm gonna keep oh there's see that's sticking up right there. Wait a minute, let me put some hook right there. Oh nope, you're gonna go right back down here. Okay, guys, that's, uh, see if I can turn it around. This is, like I said, it's not dried, but this is a um, little pocket posy that uh, I'm working on. Now I'm going to get the, um, get the other napkin ready. Um, I'm not going to bore you with all things I just went through, but anyway, so far that is what we do. And I'm probably going to take this. I hope I don't mess it up. You know, but I'm sometimes I got that OCD, and it's like I want everything just just so so, and then I end up up. Oh, see, I did, I did. It started almost coming up. Woo! Better leave it alone, Jesus. Doggone it! See what I mean? OCD. You just want to keep on till you feel like you got it right. Sometimes you better wait for the freaking thing to dry. Oh, Lordy. Okay. I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> anyway, let it dry. Hopefully, it won't take too long. If I had a hair dryer, I'd do that probably. But this is going to be my first can. Like I said, I've got the holes. Uh, I've already drilled the holes on the side, or Mr. did. And then you'll put some kind of styrofoam down there. You don't you can hot glue it in. And we'll get to that later if I can find my hot glue gun. But uh, anyway. Uh, but you don't want too high because I want to put some of that moss stuff. I think it might show through. I don't know. And then I got these because I didn't have any really other blue flowers. So I just got these. These are more purple. But what do you, you think that'll, you think that'll do? Or I should put some white in it. We'll try it and see. And that's another thing I got to go down there. I got to get, you better make sure you got all your tools before you start. All my tools are down there. And of course I'm up here because it's so cold down there and everything is, um, is wet okay so i'm gonna stick this over here oh 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 oh! i want to show you this too and then i cut this at the you know bottom of the napkin you can see that dark bl dark blue i cut some off because i wanted an edging and i think i think i'm going to do that what do y'all think put that on there i think so I wonder if i can do it now i have to wait I think I'll wait. I better not, because I know me, I know me. I'm gonna stick that over to the side, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart and um, get it ready for the next can. See, I told you I had two cans, and uh, I wanna put that on there. I think that'll be so pretty, don't you? Hmm. Yeah, I do. Okay, I'll be back in a minute once I get everything ready. Be back in a second. Okay, we're back. I've got my can. I've already pulled the, this was only two ply. I've pulled that apart. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start applying my hodgepodge on it. And
Doesn't take long to do this. Just want to make sure that you get all the areas that you need to get. Maybe a little bit there on the back side if it wraps around. Which I think this one might. I'm not absolutely positive. Like I said, this is just, um, this is not a tutorial. This is just me and you and some pocket posies. Okay. All right. Now, like I said, I've already pulled this out and kind of cut it the way that I, I thought that I would like for it to be. So, let me go ahead and get this positioned, I think, where I... Oops. Oh no. I'm always doing something goofy, I told you. Well, Sheila, that's hanging over. That's okay. We can take some uh, sandpaper and um, get that off. But you, again, again, you got to be very careful. Can't be heavy-handed. Not on uh, napkins. So thin, it's just like it will tear and tear in places you don't want it to. You know what I mean? Oh, look at me do that. Mm, mm, mm. How have y'all been? I'm sorry I haven't been on so much. Like I said, I've just... Okay, so now I've got that on there. What do y'all think? Okay, now I'm going to put the top coat... lightly do this I mean very lightly because you don't want to pull it and you pull your napkin off so let's get this on here I hope it's going to turn out good uh, you just never you never know like I said this is my first time around Okay, guys, um, I got this one done. Um, it was just a matter of, well, I think you know, I've shown you, but um, I just took it outside and put some uh, sprays. Sorry, I got to lean over. This table is huge. I can't work out my shop yet, like I said, because it hasn't been organized. But anyway, uh, I went outside and I sprayed it with some uh, polycrylic um, <clears throat> just to give it that protective finish. Um, on it. Um, I've got the bluish kind of flowers. I'm not sure what yet I'm going to put in there, but I want to show the other one, which I did the same way as this. You know, I put that strip on the bottom here, this little band, and then here's the other one. Remember, I had the butterflies and stuff on it. So, what do you guys think on that one? So, I took that out as well and sprayed that. And what I think I'm going to do is next I'm taking, um, I don't have a plug here. I guess I could find an extension cord, but I'm not. I'm just going to take it over my sitting place and then I'm going to get my wire cutters and cut some of this uh, off. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the styrofoam, which is this, and I've kind of cut it down some. A little, a little, I have this little styrofoam ball that I'm going to hot glue in there. Then I'm going to put these. Uh, can you see that? These in there. I know it doesn't look, give it justice doing it like this, but that's what I'm going to put in there. Let's see if I do it this way. And um, then tie the little jute string, you know, for the little holes that I have there. That'll be the last step that I do. And I'll be done. So they're easy peasy to do. 
Um, I'm not sure yet. I think I'm going to take them down to the cafe because um, she wants me to bring some of my stuff that I do down there. Like I said, this is not a tutorial, so if uh, you guys are just now tuning in, now I've got some of the moss also that I'm going to add to cover up you know, any of the white styrofoam. And then I got Mr. to take another can. I, uh, we were saving the cans, but the cans were the ones that were rounded at the end and you can't cut them. So the ones that I had that I could cut, uh, I went down to the shop and I only found one more. But like I said, the shop is a mess or my part of it because I haven't had the time to go and get everything sorted out. That's why this table's looking the way that it is. I know Martha Stewart's getting upset about this stuff, but anyway. So he took it down and put it in the little vice grip and uh, closed these down. I went in with um, the file and filed, you know, like around where the, we drilled the hole on the side and around the side. So, cause you don't want anybody to stick their finger in there if they're changing out flowers or something and get cut. So, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go over there in my seat and hot glue my little styrofoams uh, down in my little uh, pocket posies. And uh, then I guess when I'm finished, I'll just come back and show you guys what I've done. How about that? Is that, is that a deal? Okay, well, let me get on over there and uh, get that done. Um, it seemed like it was something else I wanted to tell you, but psh, I don't know. I don't even know what color I'm going to do this. Y'all have any ideas? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Like I said, it's not a tutorial. I think I said that like seven times. You're going, shut up, Sheila. But um, just kind of showing you what I'm doing. Uh, I did show you the table. I know y'all ask about that. And I think that's it. I think that's all I had to tell you. I know I'll always forget something. I'm sure it was a story. I'm just sure it was. I got to write these things down. I still haven't told you what about the Play-Doh yet. I'm trying, there was a video, and I'm trying to find that video. I don't know where I put it. And uh, see if I can incorporate that on, you know, like th with this video and uh, play some of it. But anyhow, I'll tell you what, I laugh my behind off on that. Might not be funny to you, but it was hilarious to me. Okay, well, let me get over here. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for joining in and becoming subscribers. Um, my name is Sheila, and then some of you know Mr. already. He went down to the dumpster to take the, take the trash down there. And we live in a double-wide mobile home in the hills of Virginia. For some of you that do not know, maybe your first time watching, uh, we have a lot of DIYs. We have a lot, a lot of projects to do. And um, I think that's about it for today. But thank you for joining. Thank you for all the comments. I know I haven't been on in a few days, but like I said, the passing of my brother just kind of took the wind out of my sails, if you know what I mean. But uh, I'm, I'm back on now, and... I miss my family, and I wanted to come back and talk to you guys and just kind of show you, you know, now kind of what happened and now what I'm doing, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Remember that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Okay, till the next video. Bye, y'all.